on, folks? It's we're all back again. Uh, we just got done at the buffet. Uh, we got our team comfortable now. Yeah, dude. Good, good. Just got back from the buffet. Uh, Will already destroyed my toilet. It's it's almost a ritual now. It's it was two small turds. It was not a destruction. It doesn't even smell. Two small, <laughs> two small turds for you. Barely it's made like, a sound. Ah, uh, the worst it ever got was Josh down in Oregon. I mean, that guy tells me about that still. You destroyed like his. His sanctity. It destroyed his whole life. I don't know about that bad, but... It blew out his windows. Pretty rough, <laughs> from what he told me. Anyways, we had a successful day. All was topped. Where's this uh, team last best hope? Undefeated. Uh, it will went undefeated, defeating me in the process. Uh, no salt about that. That happens. Just a little. Uh, no, I'm not salty at all. Don't even try to act like that. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, me and Ryan both went 3-1. Ryan barely topped today at 3-1. He got 10th place out of top yeah, 10. Big tournament. That was a big tournament for Shane's. And the thing was, is there was a lot of garbage players there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look over and you're like, man, there's so many Cyber Dragons today. I mean, you would lose suddenly Cyber Dragons. But anyways, I'm Lucky Lance, the self-point leader of this group. Uh, just put myself as it. I mean, it might as well since it's my alcohol in my house and everything. Uh, I uh, play Silent Greats right now, which I think is a lot better deck for me than Thunder Dragons. And just like Godzilla, I also roar randomly while destroying cities. And it uh, doesn't make you feel terrible for playing Silent Great. It doesn't rack your brain. It feels pretty consistent. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, the main reason I like playing it is because... My opponent starts playing, and like I have a chance to actually do some with hand traps. You know, with Thunder Dragon, just sit there like this and watch them make this incredible board. And you're like, oh, I guess I lose. This here in the middle is Wicked Will, the disgraced former local champion, the big fella himself. Like I said, went uh, damn, went uh, 4 0 today and uh, just showed what he can do at the buffet. Yep. Just really, I mean, I'm impressed. I guzzled that, that pork down. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you were eating. It was nothing I like, but I was like, look at him go. You, you, you're like the happiest I ever see you at that buffet. Or the former. I, I like food. food. Well, well food everyone good. does. Everyone does, but it's just like, wow, Will is really happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. We don't want you to go there and be depressed. I and didn't sad. get to eat lunch. I barely had a breakfast. Oh. And then, of course, over here we have Rad Ryan, our ruling expert, who is the best player among us three. And also probably one of the best players in the shop, uh, Ryan. That's a hard. That, that's a hard thing to be too, since we probably have the United States two best player, or like best player at it. Are you talking about Jordan? Manova. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Manova is so proven to be one of the best. It's not even funny. Anymore. Hey, listen. If you, you can't talk, even dispute it anymore. If you, I know. If you talk to Jordan, listen. Pat. Hey, Jordan's fucking good. I know he is. I've beaten that is. man like two out of like. I, what, 12 matches I've, I've had? He is game? very good, and he's also taller than you, which he will bring up every time. Yeah, I know. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I'm the tall one. I know, I know you are, until he showed up. I can't even say I'm the biggest one, really, because he, he still weighs like 300 pounds. I too, don't think like... he weighs 300 pounds. Hey, yeah, that's what he told us on really? our trip, dude. Yeah. Really? A little bit of height will add a lot of weight. Well, I know that, but he's got a lot more muscle than heavy. I do. Huh. I think he told me he's like 270. He told me he's like 298 pounds. Oh, well, he is a big guy. I, I told him one time I weighed 310. He looked pretty concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? No. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no. Jesus. 240. Uh, anyways, Ryan's always there to make the right calls. Uh, today, Ryan, we had a Hopefully. judge. Yeah. <laughs> I had a judge call because of Will. Will tried to cheat me like an asshole. How? You this card of Thunder Dragon with no Thunder Dragons in deck. You're okay, like, hey, hey, hey it, says up, it says up to. So I thought it could be zero. It's a generally. You, you can do zero and go, which is kind of funny. Yeah, 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 I know that. But And you can also do up to zero in, in magic with some of the yeah, cards. Yeah, magic, lets you do magic doesn't care. See, it wasn't unfounded. And uh, I said, hey, I don't know. I'm not okay. even 100% sure it works. Okay. We called. You did, no, you did not. You made the Thunder Dragon Colossus. And everything. I'm like, I mean, what? hell, if you wanted to call me a cheater, why didn't you bring up the fact to pull the Diablo out of my graveyard after you abyssalered me? <laughs> oh yeah, that did happen. It's okay, I've done that too. I brought I brought out Diablo from the you did that, like, right, field. right at the start of the turn. You, I forgot about it, and I was like trying to fight around it the whole time. I know, yeah. and then that was like one of the you last cards why? I played. You know why? Because I already it. had lost at that point. So I probably just already given up in my head. But I, I, I've cheated with Diablos too. I have my own Vandy scheme on the field and I specialed out fucking Diablos. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said anything. Just completely forgot. Grand this card's so broken! <laughs> 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 he can get around any summoning restriction. 
<laughs> Ignore all effects on field. Oh, <laughs> this card is so broken. I do love that card. It's one of my favorites. All right, I got a sponsor. Got to get to. Give me twenty-five dollars. I'll pay for all this, and it's a good one, guys. Uh, uh, you guys like going to the fair? Sure. Uh, Dallas yeah. Fair, Washington State Fair. Yeah, that's a good. Place. You like that? Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, I, like the, I like the scones. Yeah, those are good. You ever uh, gone to uh, there and seen people do portraits, like caricature portraits? I actually have one, and I still oh, have, you have one. Okay, it's good. Well, my sponsor today is Tough Shiver. That's his name. Tough. It's not a funny name. That's his name. Tough. T U F F. Shiver, like you think. And he's doing, uh, he does caricatures, but he's also got something fun where he does a character review, and he also adds a horse. So there will be a horse behind you. And now what he's doing, he's doing a digital uh, thing. So let me read what he told me to say to y'all. <clears throat> Old tough shiver, he's like a, he's a, you know, he's like a real cowboy if you could have such a thing now, except he does drive a Dodge Ram van. To, uh, hey, a van's pump. pretty badass. Well, I don't know. Still a big all. engine in it. Still lift him up. You can even get dualies on him. <laughs> I've seen them. You've seen them. You know they exist. Yeah, I know they do, but I don't think they're very cool. But he has to have that much to, you know, drive his painting supplies around. And uh, so what he'll do now, and I think this is really good for you, Will, is he will take your digital photos that you have on Facebook, and to enhance them, he will add a horse to it and a majestic horse and um, it's only gonna it'll, so uh, the price is, is very have, like goofy googly eyes no it's just a horse he, he loves horses he's not going to disrespect horses by making them look weird uh, <laughs> the price is very based on the photos to be enhanced breed of the horse desired and difficulty of the enhancing of the photo so if you have some weird photo it's gonna, it might be tough to put a horse in it you know like you know it's gonna be tough to put a, a 1920s black and white portrait no he could <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that'd be a little <laughs> So, uh, you know, remember that picture of you, Will, holding a burrito at, with your sunglasses on, a car exchange trying to look like a badass? Yeah, dude. Yeah, imagine if he could enhance it to have a beautiful and majestic Arabian stallion in it. Arabian stallion. Arabian stallion. Is it, neigh, it, is it neighing in, in the booth where I or present my wounds? <laughs> no, it's just behind you looking majestic and beautiful. All right. Why do you want these horses to act unnatural? What is, what is neighing unnatural no. behind a stable headed no. sized room? She literally has. You, you know, you, you've been there, you saw I it. I have been in there. That's, that's head height. Have you ever been there, Ryan? Card exchange? Yeah, yeah I mean, you, we all three of us went there, there the, the there first time. There a couple, couple times. Okay, yeah, I guess, yeah, you were there with this one time. Uh, Going there tomorrow. I'm not. Uh, huh. uh, Ryan, uh, how about a picture of you where you're eagerly staring at a scantily clad woman at a. Uh, at one of those Comic Cons you like going to? Okay. Imagine if that got enhanced by behind you is a powerful and prideful Clydesdale. That would really, really enhance that photo, Ryan. Sure would, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I have a picture of myself standing next to a tire fire with a bottle of Monarch <laughs> vodka, and I think it would be really, really enhanced if there was a thoroughbred racehorse behind it. The dumped over can of King Cobra. <laughs> Why would it be dumped over? I don't know. You dropped it, Lance. You're drunk. <laughs> oh, I'd be pretty mad drunk if that happened. And uh, so anyways, if you want to get a horse in any of your pictures to impress your friends, make yourself look a little fancier, go ahead and get that done. Old tough shiver. Uh, he's looking for more clients. And uh, Reed Davis, we all know him. He also gave me $25 to uh, say hi and tell us how much he's been enjoying Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So it's been a while since I've seen that, but... Thanks, everyone, for the $25. It's $50 total. Uh, if you may have not noticed, we are not opening up a current set. This is an oldie but goodie. Allegedly. Is, this is right here, Primal Origins. This is Primal Origins, or in Japan they call it par, like Primarju Origion, or something. That sounds French, not <laughs> Japanese. But it, it, it's, it sounds hilarious, because I looked up a commercial for this online, and where the, you know, in Japan they have these fancy commercials for these things, and... These words are hard to say in Japanese. Yeah, I, I, I read it yeah. in English. But uh, anyways, we're doing a retro one here. Ryan here has never opened up a pack of uh, Primal Origin in his young, youthful life. Really? I wasn't playing with this thing. Yeah. So, Holy shit, I thought you were. No, I wasn't playing with What was the first set you were playing? Do you remember? <clears throat> it was, I remember it was when the rulers got banned. When, when the big dragons got banned? Yeah, yeah this, banned. this is when that pack came out. No. This is right after this. 
No, it was yeah, it was after. Well, yeah, this this was after this. Must have been like new challengers. Uh, I'd have to look. Uh, it wasn't much after this, I don't think. Because this is yeah, like yeah, it, was, it was pretty. It was pretty close. Yeah. So, how it works is, is an old pack. We also get to take shots for super rares. So, take shots for super rares, secret rares, ultra rares, ultimate rares, and ghost rares. So there should be, um, you know. I got twenty. Yeah. Everyone got twenty. Yeah. Okay, that means I have twenty. All right, so let's pour our shots. Get what this are the, thing. What are the chase cards we're looking for? Lance? The tra chase card we're looking for is Medolci and Jelly. That is the most expensive card. Uh, what else we got? We got Lucent, Nether Lord of the Dark World, uh, which is the, the artifact card. Too. Artifact Scythe, Artifact Sanctum would be nice cards to get. Look, it didn't spill. Uh, good job. Uh, you getting a water rhyme? Yeah. Okay, they're, they're I'm almost out, but they're in there. Um, I should have grabbed them for you. I always forget. Um, what other card is in here? Um, There's that uh, uh, the Brotherhood of uh, the, the Noble Knights. Noble Knights of Brotherhood. Is yeah, that like a ten dollar, eleven dollar. I don't. I don't know. Probably. Brothers. And then, yeah, brothers. And then, and there's so Majesty's Fiends also in here. So we can oh, that's a, that's, a that's, that's a good. That's a nice card. card. That's a, so I think I did right by pulling this one out of storage for us all. Uh, Ryan, how stoked are you for this? Since you've never done it, Ryan's probably never seen a lot of these cards. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen a lot of them. Well, I mean, the commons and shit. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I'll comment on any cards that look funny. Y Yeah, I think there might be a chocolate-covered penguin in this one. I'm not sure. Got this high manipulator of chaos. <laughs> well, yeah, Ghost Tricks in here. Man. Oh, yeah, there's that Eve of Singularity card that was fucking broken. You guys remember this card? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's good. That card was insane. Oh, that's like the worst one. Yeah, I've never seen this. Yeah, that thing sucks. I forgot about that. Sylvan's Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion. There's a good one to have. Oh, there you go. That's you got an card, ultra there, man. And we got the Sage Koya. Oh, there we go. Sylvan. I can never look at Sylvan's ever again. Thanks uh, to uh, another Sylvan. Yeah, thanks I got to a scythe. Oh, nice. That's one of the best cards. So Ryan and Will already have one. I got this Bolt Penguin, which is like the mascot for a uh, jobber, I think. <laughs> With each arm forming an electric whip, this monster paralyzes its enemies with electrical shocks. Classic Bolt Penguin. God, it's so ugly. That's in this set. Yeah, yeah I just Bolt saw Penguin. It. Yeah, right here. Yeah. There it is. Interesting. I guess they were still importing those. From yeah, they, yeah, they were still importing. Do we have left like 20, 25? Like at, at, at least. At yeah, least. But they don't do them in main sets anymore. Yeah. Don't even apparently do them in the OTS packs anymore. Nope. Still nothing for me. Oh, we had to wait for Ryan. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Dianea. That's a decent card. I got this sweet-ass number 48 Shadow Lynch. This is a cool-looking monster. Oh, this at Shadow Leak? Yeah. And then, of course, I got the band Galaxy Tomahawk. That was like a $10 common. <laughs> Until I got the Bayon Hammer. Nice. The Tuna Fish. Tuna Fish. Beautiful. Or whatever it's... Beautiful. Isn't that what it's called in there? Beautiful. Uh, yeah, be beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the dude that made that cringed when he had to write that name. Probably. Rose Archer, and also got the Tomahawk. Galaxy Tyrant. Oh man, some of these cards are so bad. Oh, another Tomahawk. We got a full plate. Yeah, wasn't right that here. the wasn't that the uh, the the entry card was an ultra version of Galaxy Tyrant? No, no, it was Scythe. Artifact Scythe. Oh, was right. That was a, that's a TCG exclusive when this set came out. The card was awesome. I know. I got Escalation of the Oh, Monarchs. and we don't open it. We gotta let Ryan take a shot. You got Escalation of the Monarchs. What does that one even do? I don't remember. Let's you tribute during your opponent's turn. Oh. Let's, yeah, during your opponent's turn. So it's like, like a true Draco before battle true Draco. Yeah. How about that? It's got a sweet art on it. It's like, what's even happening there? It's like some sort of like... Blue and red fireball. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. It's like some sort of Dragon Ball attack. Yeah. It's like a spirit bomb being formed. I mean, that's what it is a tribute bomb. I'm still waiting for the day for Cemetery Bomb to be meta just because I like that card. I wanted, I used to side that when I was playing Burn against, uh, like, uh, let's see what deck that was. Uh, uh, Lightsworn. Lightsworn used to have like 15, 20 cards in there. A lot of burn damage. Oh, got the Nether Lord. What's that one? Oh, there we go. That's a good one there. I was always so disappointed in that card that his discard effect was just the same as Silva. 
and gold. What do you got there? Is that Dawn Thousand Throne? Dawn Thousand Throne. Yeah. Never seen that one before. You, there's probably a reason. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the newer one. Yeah, yeah. Is that the one that says you can pay a thousand and we'll per fucking Well, Brian, we gotta let we'll refill here. Yeah, it's like both players draw when you play it. And then it has that weird effect where, like, your opponent reveals every card they draw. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So far... Smith it didn't come as an ulti. I know, yeah. They would have been the best Dark World for the ultis in the oh. Danger Dark World. No, oh, Knight there we go! Noble Knight Brothers! You know what's hilarious is how massive... Oh, we got a... What's that one? A Noble Knight card. Yeah, 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 yeah there we go. That's a good one. It's a dark one, too. It's one of the few dark Noble Knights. Yeah, Ryan, what's weird about the, the Brothers, if I remember right, is the 2400 fucking defense. That thing is so big. You run into that, you're pissed. Remember, it's got that protection on it for sword and shield. You can't attack with it unless there's at least two others. <laughs> can't sword and shield me. <laughs> well, isn't it something like you have to... It's like one of the worst ones, but also good, isn't it? Yeah, you, when you played the deck, you definitely played it at one or two because that recurring effect to get your cards back to draw cards. Yeah, yeah, good. I remember it being like bad but good. Yeah, it's pretty whatever. It, it has the worst part of Noble Knights. It has the text that says you can only send a Noble Knights for a turn. Yeah. Good looking artwork, though. That, that's a crazy card, though. Yeah, that card's cool. Yeah, were you using that when you were trying to do that weird tower building thing? All right, I finally got a foil here. I actually got one yeah. of the best rares in the set. I got Ragnar Zero. That's Rare, good. Oh, nice, Ryan. I saw that artifact Ignition. Ignition. Hey, that was a good card. Yeah, I know. That card was awesome. All right, I finally get in here. I got a Pelica Descendant of Gusto, or Gusto, whatever. Ryan, this looks like your kind of art. You like this kind of stuff. Yeah. Very cute. Look at this little penguin down there. Look how cute that is. Yeah, it's from Pengu. Oh, is it? As a baby? Yeah, I think so. They're, oh. all, they're like related with the Gustos. Oh, nice. I don't know. It's big lore. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't pay attention. <laughs> the higher lore. Uh. Ooh. Damn it, dude. Huh? No. <laughs> yeah, I got one of the better rares in this set. Uh, Ragna Zero. That card was legit. Wasn't it an ulti in the... No, it was a super rare in an astral. Oh right, it was the super yeah, rare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that the was, that was the the one that it switches from defense to attack mode. Yeah, this this card was super good against Brother of the Fire Fist because it would just destroy any one of their monsters. And it makes BA sad. When BA when BA came out later. Why? Dante. Oh yeah. Dante yeah. equals dead Dante draw card. That's true. Ragna Zero. Ew, you got that try and guess. Burn players rejoice. <laughs> I also got the other good rare. I got Rhapsody and Berserk. That's, good card. That's a good ass card. I wish it was good today still, but losing the extra deck slot to the I remember one guy it. buying boxes and boxes of Primal Origin for Scrap Factory. And I never saw that guy again. <laughs> you know, I, he used to play at our locals. His name was like Travis Champagne. And he always played Scrap or something like that, and he never did well. He always failed. Kind of that one guy, Bailey. Remember Bailey? Yeah, well, Bailey was had a, had a good sense of humor about it. Yeah, Bailey was fine. I got, I like Bailey. Look at that. Ragna Zero. So Ryan's got four. I've got yeah, one. Will's you guys got to step it up. I got all the good cards. I know. Ryan does this every single time. Even Escalation's a higher class of card than mine were. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. That Lucent's pretty good. I like Lucent. He was like $15 during the Danger Dark World yeah. start. Yeah. Another try and guess. Ew, got whatever this is. What is that? Tachyon Chaos Trap. I don't remember this thing. Oh, man. Oh, is that a secret rare? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's like the worst secret <laughs> rare we could pull. <laughs> I, don't I got the renamed Succubus. I got Ghost Trick So Cute Boss. So Cute Boss. Oh, I got Note Penguin, too. At least it's got good artwork shit <laughs> going I don't even remember what that does. This diamond core, Quacky Marrow or Quoky Marrow, how do you pronounce this? Cookie. Cokey. This card's actually pretty fucking good for him. That was just a beat down deck. It made it so you could play those generically. It was a weird deck for a time to let you like uh, have a rescue rabbit effect and another one that would destroy special summon monsters by discarding a random card and tons of weird stuff. Yeah, this one, you get to add one from your deck to your hand. 
and you can banish this card from the graveyard for the rest of this turn. Monster control will be destroyed. That's really weird. It's a spell card. You can't do it on your opponent's turn. Huh. It's so you could do it and then have all your... You didn't have to reveal a card or if you didn't have a card to reveal. Oh, right, right. Got this hideous Gladiator Beast Augustus. Ooh. Hey, phone on post track. That's a good. Card. Oh, that's a good this one. would have been worth some money back. Oh then. yeah, there that you go. Tech. Got a Karen Gorgon. That was a oh, good card. Oh man, that's another good one too. We are pulling the good shit for supers and rares. This is back when supers and rares meant something. So you guys both at five. I'm at one. It's getting a little, uh, getting a little warm over here. <laughs> there you guys go. Ryan again is leading the pack. He's pulled both secrets. No ultimates or. Or ghost yet? There should be an ultimate somewhere. Uh, I think we pulled all the supers though. Two. There's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Well, I mean, there might there should be one more super. Let you guys refill there. It's a good thing we eat before we drink. <laughs> Absorb some of the alcohol. Except you shit out two little, like, goat turds. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ryan, I don't know why when you said that I wanted to say something about Gopher Boy. Who? The Gopher Boy from South Park. I don't know who that is. This is Galactic Charity. Jesus. There oh we go. No. God, here comes another one. <laughs> I got Majesty's Fiend. Hey. That's a good hey. ass card to pull, Ryan. That's a nice card out of this. Oh, thing. hey, look at Dust Dawn. That old, that old dude that come, that used to come in every once in a while. Oh, that Ryan that hates? Out. You hate that guy, Ryan. He is. He is. Instead of saying monster, he says creature. Instead of saying effect, he says ability. Wait, click my glass. I always click the Ryan's. problem, dude. I like Scrap Factory. Oh. Go to find that guy. Yeah, we need to find him and let him uh, figure out what happened. I think he just gave up on Yu-Gi-Oh! to give a, get a real life, you know? One could hope. You take the lead, Will? Six now? Tied. Oh, Ryan has six? Hold up, Ryan. There's a lot of fucking cards in the set, dude. I don't think we normally have this many in our, uh, in our normal games. Well, there should only be one more extra. I don't know, there's a lot of packs. <laughs> maybe, maybe we miscounted. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I fucked up, Maybe right? I'll finally puke on camera. No, better not. Alright, here we go. I mean, right now, it's just unfair to you guys. I've only got two. Yeah, you got a good card, though. That's I did, good yeah. Good-ass fucking card. Oh, there we go. I'm catching up now. I got another Lucent. Oh, God, oh man. man. There's that? another one. An <laughs> ultimate rare Whoa, from Jinky. Ultimate got, rare. We got the whole lion again. Oh, I love this card. Breathe deep, Will. Uh, all right, here we go. We'll click my glasses again. Here we go. Am I winning or am I losing? The gem mint Amaterasu's are nice. These are hard to find. Well, it's a ghost in this set, too. Yeah. Chris Watton fucking loves this card. Oh, love Every it. time he can, he can legally uh, find a good way to play it, I played the he plays it. That card. It's hella good. It's really good in style. Remember that Antoine guy when uh, Bujin, Bujin, not Yamato, the second one. What was the one after that? It was uh, Mizuku. He was willing to overpay double for that card when it came out. I remember the sneak peek. He's like, if anyone's got this, I'll give you like 50 bucks for it. I'm like, damn. But nobody's giving it up because Bujin was the best deck then. All right. So that, was, that was a weird time when Bujin was number one. I wish it was get good again so we could stop playing this other weird floodgatey shit. Never gonna happen, pal. The All right, look. The deck was only good because of a floodgate. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, Kaiser Coliseum, yeah. and I had a good matchup against it, Ryan, because Dark Worlds got around it. Grappler got around Kaiser Coliseum every time. Angering Jim to no angry, no bounds. I think you just made a Jim angry all the time. Oh, I did. There's that fucking hillbilly. Double, <laughs> double dragon descent. I don't even remember this card. It looks. I'm gonna have to read this later. It looks so bad. Another Ragma Zero. Another Ragma Zero. Yeah. So Will's at seven, Ryan's at six, I'm at three. It's too bad unless we get another spicy card. These boxes didn't pay for themselves. <laughs> They're not going to, dude. I mean, this is an old set that's got everything's been reprinted except I think maybe Madolce and Jelly. Oh, and Lucent. Lucent's never been reprinted. There are a lot of people exactly clamoring for the Lucent. No, no. 
I remember how that Don Knight. <laughs> oh, Don Knight. What you got there, Ryan? Oh man, you got Southern you got charity. yeah, you got a. This is draw three cards. Yeah, you got the damn uh, charity card. Nice work, bud. So, who do you think's winning in terms of best cards poll? Is maybe you will? No, I got Moral Tech. That's about it. Amit Ross is good and all, but he got the. I think I might be with this Majesty's Fiend. That's. You have the single singular best card, but our combined efforts are better than your one. I card. hope so. So you guys have more than double what I got. All right, Ryan, you ready to refill? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, buddy. Slow pour. Yeah, it's well, nice. you don't want to pour fast. I got the number C80 Requiem in Berserk. Damn, dude, I drink like half this bottle. Maybe. Seven shots. It's more than a six pack of beer. We got this. Oh no, here it comes again. Princess Sprout. Oh, I got this Avalon. I don't even tar Target five. It's bad. No don't read monster it. Monster in your graveyard. Include at least one Artogris monster and at least one Land Salon monster. Banish those targets if you do destroy all cards on the field. So fucking bad, dude. Don't read it. Oh my god, that's so bad. But this card is so good. Love Princess. Click my glass, boy. All right. You're gonna be able to build a whole Sylvan deck now. So. Maybe. No, we're missing the main set those came out of. Yeah, Dustin and I were testing Sylvans for a while. Why? The Soul Charge. We we're, were left arm offering for Soul Charge. But well, Soul Charge is a band, so we're not, not yeah. trying that anymore. Were you guys overlaying the Hermitries for uh, rank 8s? Uh, they drop more droplets. I'm pretty sure, yeah. We were doing like firewall stuff. Hey, we're, hey look, do you know what I just realized? This is Primal Origins, Matt. I know. It's a Primal Origins, Matt, Ryan. I actually won this before you were even playing the. When you were still suckling your mom's teeth. You're right. I'm, or <laughs> exiting the cocoon of the Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> shade <and> sports cards. <laughs> oh my god. It's easy universe. I got a bolt penguin. Nice. Jackpot, well, Jackpot 7's in the set. Yeah, that's yeah. what caused that card to get banned, dude. Yeah. It never came back. It's no, not, it's it, didn't not get, banned. it didn't get banned. It banned Morphing, well, Morphing Jar. Jar yeah. Mor banned, yeah. Morphing Jar took the hit for that. All right, so you guys are both at 7. I'm at 4, so I can't win this one again. This is the only artifact monster with a girl on it ages. Mermaid Shark. <laughs> Mermaid Shark. Okay, hey, that's a good card, man. All right, here we go. The last pack. Can Ryan or Will win this, or do we have a tie? Forever and always. Oh, I got a Bujin Harumi. Well, it ain't me, Pulse Dragon. I got one more shot here. What'd you get, Ryan? Marks of Oh, he got it! No! Ew! 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 I hate no. that card! The floodgate is still fucking people oh, in the ass. Damn, no! <laughs> God, I hate that card. Fuck. <laughs> all right, let, let me get Ryan here a click. I'm going to drink my final shot with oh, you. All right, here we go. Yeah. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> I saw Ryan rip one of his into your glass. <clears throat> Al Woo! Alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. One of those shots I had to take three little gulps of. Oh, mm -hmm. man. That can get rough after a while. Yeah. Luckily, it's the last one I got over. Yeah! <laughs> Ryan wins with eight. Damn. You're talking about sheer usable cards? Fuck this card. I man. know. I can't believe. That's just, that's... Yeah, I got, I got Scythe, Escalation, and Eraptor. That's <laughs> good. Those are all playable cards. I know. Nowadays. Yeah, I, I got a Majesty's Fiend, which is somewhat Even playable. Even Karen Morgan. I, I played Karen Morgan yeah. two weeks ago. Let's see, what was the summer condition of this? Like, you had to banish something? I don't remember. I don't remember. Banish remember your wood illusion monster from your graveyard. Ryan, go ahead and read that forbidden scripture. What the hell does that do? I don't even remember. If a monster battles an opponent's monster during damage count, negate all other effects on the field until the end of damage step. Also, damage count uses the original attack and defense. Oh, fuck. That's a Boral Sword killer. You're right. Oh, fuck. We found it, boys. Yeah, dude. That this this hard counter to Boral Sword Dragon. <laughs> God, but brothers is good and mm -hmm. uh, fiend is great. Yeah, I mean my favorite. I can't. I love that you pulled this. I have one of these and it's like beat to hell. Oh, I, I like looking at a, a near middle one. Do you want it? I don't yeah. think it's worth much. Like I don't want to like four bucks. I don't want to like buy it right now. Oh, 
<laughs> it's tight in the in the Ryan household. It's tight in the Will household. I mean, I don't want to buy a card that's going to sit in the stack on my desk. Yeah, I suppose. Hell, if it's not worth anything, I'll just give it to you, Ryan. That way I know you can leave with a smile on your face. <laughs> Clear eyes, full hearts. Yeah, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I felt much better than when snow was legal and I was making that card and just banishing all kinds of cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that card is so, this card is so good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember, Will, you thought with the, when What's-Its-Name first came out, the Monarch structure deck, you thought that that their field spell made it so Massey Spin could never be killed. You thought that whenever something attacked it, it would gain the 800 attack. And it was like, only when you attacked, not when it was attacked. And they're like, Will, you just cheated that child. That child had you beat. No good dirty scoundrel. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. He didn't deserve to win. Probably not. He didn't read the card. <laughs> it's okay. I met a bunch of monsters that require effect monsters in the Phantom Ranch. Right? What is the point of this boosh? <laughs> this boosh makes no sense. It's it discards cards from you and your opponent's hand, dude. Yeah, well, what else who is cares? There? Other than that, I don't think you play that card. You play very few Bujan cards in a Bujan deck. You just want to play Crane Rabbit or Hair yeah, or whatever like the good ones. And yeah. I think it was Yamato. like three Yamato, obviously. Yamato. And then you had like two of the Mikazukashi to replace yeah, you, it. You like Mizuchi. Yeah. And this card was maybe a one of because you could search it. They played three Crane, um, and they played the Hair, and yeah. then they played uh, they played that one too, the Quill. Yeah, they like the Turtle. Yeah, the turtle once in a while show up. And there's just a bunch of trap cards and Kaiser Coliseum. <laughs> yeah, Kaiser Coliseum. And back then, folks, we only had MST. Yeah, that was it. You couldn't even hit with a night. Kaiser Coliseum. You could not hit with a night beam. People want that card back, Ryan. Dude. They say it's not that bad. They say it really. I mean, don't... they don't play it in OCG even though it's a three, but like that card's a nightmare. Well, people say now it would help with the current problem of of link spam. Yeah, there's there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> people just need to adapt to the current game. Yeah, I think this is actually a relatively successful opening. Uh, how many super I mean, I, this is about as good as you get. I think, See, I think we got more drinks three, taken four, than any five, other set because you got seven, more cards. Eight, in it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Damn, that's just twelve right there. How many alters did we get? I got uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, only you, four you get your boxes worth of those. Only one ultimate. Man, it's so tough to pull a ghost. Imagine how excited you would have been, Ryan, if it was a ghost on Matarasu. Yeah. You would have been like, gosh, oh, the holy grail of blue jinkies. <laughs> <laughs> I own one. Don't worry, I got one. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, good ass stuff. Uh, any last words, Ryan? You get to feel good? Or you, how you feeling? I feel warm. Uh, yeah, I feel. I'll, whenever yeah, I drink, I'm going pretty sweaty, yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm sweating <laughs> so bad right now. <laughs> like Jesus all right guys thanks for watching really appreciate it I'll let you know if any of us die which hopefully won't happen which by the way wish these guys happy birthday you just turned what 20 yeah I'm, I'm 24 24 and 25 I just turned 30 less than two months ago so I'm definitely getting up there for playing Yu-Gi-Oh but you know Ryan I'm getting right into the perfect age to play magic you, go. <laughs> you gotta put on some more pounds like I got yeah I gotta get to be about 300 <laughs> have to wear small glasses <laughs> yeah and i need to have like a really bad haircut and will's shirt here looks like a magic player's shirt there you go my stomach yeah. feels like one <laughs> <laughs> all right oh. all right guys thanks for watching peace